<laughs> so let me start with the um with the the, the multiple choice uh, timed assessment, and I'm going to do this actually twice in a row. The first time, let me continue doing what I have been doing, uh, feeding this question through the the generative AI. And I'm going to change a little bit of how I do it to save me a little bit of time because I've been consistently running late, um, like almost running out of time. So um, when I copy and paste the questions, I'm going to not number them A, B, C, D because uh, it can still give me a usable answer without A, B, C, D. So I'll just uh, give it uh, the question, copy and paste the question that way. And um, just to reiterate something I've been saying every single time, I'm not demonstrating how you should do this. <laughs> this is cheating, <laughs> except that I'm your instructor trying to keep uh, on top of the cutting edge, edge technology and um, uh, chatbot technology that's there. It's, uh, you should not be using any outside help, whether that's a generative AI or another person or um, anything that's not your textbook or course material, you should not be using any of that while you are taking the assessment. The only way in which use of something like this might be academically honest is where it's after you've done it and you're trying to figure out what you got wrong and you are having trouble doing that, then, you know, then use everything you need. Uh, as you are studying in between timed assessments, then yes, you can use it to figure out, can it help you explain can it help uh, explain to you uh, why you got certain questions wrong or even which questions you got wrong? So, okay, I'm going to start. Once I start, I'll have 10 minutes. And then here we go. Just going to copy and paste. The only thing I really have to be careful is with the mathematical expressions. Uh, the image, it shows, uh, copies the description. Okay. And uh, above G. Okay, X, F, G, okay, levitate. Okay, so that's good. I'm just gonna do that. And it'll figure out that these last uh, uh, four lines are, uh, what, what direction? Horizontal uniform magnetic field. Um, doesn't matter. I mean, I, it doesn't affect the answer. <laughs> so as it's doing that, let me copy the next one into um, clipboard. Is actually decreases and falls at a constant. Oh, I think that's actually correct. <laughs> the figure below shows if the loop is okay. Um, good. As soon as it's done, I can ask the next. Okay, as it's answering, let me uh, copy this next thing into clipboard. Most a current that flows through the loop. And while you're in the hand train, it becomes more difficult to turn. Yeah. So the only downside of the, this uh, adjusted approach is there's a potential danger of me uh, misunderstanding which one it, it said is the correct answer. Um, that's why I'm being extra careful, kind of reading through uh, the choices so that I don't um, um, mistake what it was telling me was the answer. A correct statement is currently generated as a result of both indisposed to file this law. Generated to file. Okay, that's the only choice. Okay, good. Uh, let's keep going. Copy that. Let me paste it. And it's got some mathematical expressions I need to fix up. Uh, says, uh, it says, uh, I'm going to use ASCII math syntax, which is says oint back e dot d back L is equal to minus D uh, B, B divided by DT. Um, I, I could also use um, the uh, LaTeX syntax, uh, but let's see if uh, it, it'll understand me fine with the AskMath syntax, which I think I will, because AskMath is fairly well known. Um, syntax is minus floats through in front of D, B, B, uh, D, T. Okay, um, yeah. It, the negative sign is the lenses law. It means, uh, well, <laughs> it's answer. Conserve total energy. Uh, 
uh, in my field opposes the induced electric field. What? Uh, but uh, that's not the. Uh, that's not any of the statement. Oh wait, there it is. Yeah, that is this. Um, no. <laughs> okay, so you got that wrong. Uh, I'm pretty sure. I'll go back and double check. Uh, it, it it missed a little bit of subtlety. Yes, in a conductor, electrons are charge carriers in the kickbeds. They move in the opposite direction. This one. Yeah, that sounds right. Um, all right, let's uh, look at the next one. Uh, I can just paste that. Yeah. It's my, uh, how much can I pop? I, oh, eight. Hope we can do that calculation. I think it's this one, uh, 0 0.340 <laughs> milliampere. Oh yeah, cool. Um, let's keep going. Okay, typical also. Okay, I'm just checking for uh, any mathematical equations which I would have to type out manually. Biggest advantage is uh, less current, which saves. Um, why did it pause? Okay. Um, using higher voltage. Why? But it, it doesn't. Uh, so, uh, which of the four choices is the correct uh, answer? Okay, how much have I have about five minutes? You can either save on, okay. Okay, there. Yeah, why didn't it, yeah, it didn't give me exact language before, but okay. <laughs> Just asking a follow-up question right there. Okay, equal resistance R connected in serial voltage V. If the resistance is reduced to R over 2, choose the statement. Oh, I think this uh, should sound familiar with um, your introduction to Circuit Lab. I think uh, uh, there was a kind of scenario there that's quite similar to uh, reducing one of the resistors to R over 2. Combine the power consumption to resistors decreases. Is that right? That sounds wrong. Yeah, that's wrong. Um, uh, well, I won't try to figure out why I got it wrong right now. Uh, I gotta finish this. Um, circuit containing, okay, choose most to correctly explains why. Uh, okay, now my the expression, all right. I think we are doing good on time, mainly because I skipped uh, having to label A, B, C, D. The voltage across uh, depends on how much charge you okay, accumulate in the capacitor. Um, and as and as a voltage, okay. So it's this one and not that one. Okay. All right, let me go to the last one. And I don't think there will be enough time to for me to double check everything, but I can get started and, you know, when the time runs out, time runs out. Um, the voltage of input circuit causes the amount of current through the inductor to change, leading to time. the voltage imposed across the inductor. Okay. Um, all right. Let me make sure... Um, Progress saves, two and a half minutes. Okay, not enough time to figure out everything. But um, so the first time, pretty sure, yeah, that sounds correct. Should be correct. You get better with the wire. Okay, uh, because more, yeah, that sounds right to me. Um, so motor voltage and according to this law, voltage. That's probably right. Okay, three right so far. Um, <clears throat> 
for for this law. Oh yeah, so here this minus sign is the the Lenz's law, and the physical significance of Lenz's law is that um, it enforces energy conservation. So I'm gonna actually change this to this because I know that to be the correct. Um, if this minus had been plus a sign, you will get all kind of energy non-conserving predictions, which you know wouldn't be right. So, um, so yeah, we got that wrong. <laughs> it's change of and no, no, it misunderstood. So question five, uh, which of the following charge carries in their motion in a conductor? Um, Conductor, there. Yeah, that seems correct. Six. I already checked this earlier. That seemed correct. Uh, typical household. Uh, yeah, I think this is actually correct. Uh, uh, wow. So you might have missed up to three, maybe. Um, yeah. So this is. So it should actually power consumption by. Uh, so this is actually the correct answer, and that matches with what you saw in the. Circuit okay, so it now is so two questions okay. Um, 30 seconds, I'm not gonna be able to. So it might have gotten 80 percent, or depending on how it did on these last two questions, either 90 or 100 percent. But minimum, it should have gotten 80 percent, unless I made a mistake in looking through this in a hurry. So with the time about to run. Oh, I had more time. Maybe I could check this. So RC circuit, function generator, circuit source time dependent behavior because um, I think this is right. Voltage or capacitor depends on. Maybe not. Uh, I, I don't know. I didn't really have time to think through it. 100%. So I guess that was right. <laughs> so I already checked through uh, questions 1 through 8 and made the corrections that I needed to make. So um, I'm just going to slowly, oops, not sure. Slowly um, scroll through this. I'm, you know, I'm um, assuming the, uh, with the correct answers, the explanations must have been correct. So that's question one, question two, um, and I will double check the last two, two questions where I didn't quite have enough time to actually think it through and give my verdict. N now that I know it, it, they must have been correct, it's a, a little bit, you know, um, <laughs> I did that. I mean, either I made a programming error when I programmed in the questions or, or they are correct. <laughs> Yeah, part of this law. But uh, the questions I corrected, you know, it, GPT got it wrong initially, because uh, otherwise my corrected answer would have been incorrect, but it wasn't. So the the one I changed from was incorrect. Um, but I think I corrected only two of them, right? So um, I think it's doing pretty well. Um, like 80% is on A-level performance. So yeah, that's yeah yeah and and i think uh, at least the 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 explanations that i've spot checked um they most of the explanations they make sense it's not getting 80 percent by uh in most part not by simply guessing uh, which you can't really anyway um so yeah so here it got it wrong um so you know my answer is correct and i guess the explanation for this corrected answer is um so if you have two resistors in series, when you reduce the resistance of one, its resistance goes down, the equivalent resistance goes down as well. And as long as you're keeping the voltage constant, that actually means more current, enough that uh, actually the combined power consumption of the two resistors increases. So neither of these two choices are correct. So it comes down to between this and that. And what's important here is that with those two registers in series, the one that whose resistance you reduce, the voltage across it is not constant. It goes down. And that reduction in voltage actually makes it so, so that um, the smaller register actually does dissipate less power. Okay, question nine. So I was looking at it earlier. And so it's a, trying to get you to explain why does the RC circuit RC circuit have a time dependent behavior and um, capacitant doesn't depend on amount of charge, so that's ruled out. Current through the capacitor depends on how much charge is accumulated in the capacitor. Not really. Um, 
it you know it, that's a DQDT and it's a rate at which it charge changes. The how much charge is there doesn't really matter. The combinational resistor with the capacitor. And this is not right. So by process of elimination, this must be right. And I think what it's trying to say is that, um, so the yeah voltage across capacitor depends on how much charge has already accumulated. And as current flows, more charge accumulates, which causes the voltage across the capacitor to change. Yeah. And which means the voltage travel across the resistor has to change, which means the current through the resistor has to change. So yeah, that uh, sounds right. This was GPT's original answer, um, which I assume is right since it got the right answer. <laughs> the last question, which I guess it must have gotten right. It's the same question as question nine, except in the context of LR circuit. And um, why circuits was time dependent behavior? Um, so magnetic field in, uh, changes with change current. In inductance doesn't change. It's uh, like property of the object that the converts current. There's no, it's, it's, there's no conversion in that sense. So no, this is what I call joke answer. It's meant, it's not meant to be taken seriously. The voltage imposed across in the register changes causes the amount of current through the register to change, leading to time dependent behavior. Um, voltage across. Uh, I might have chosen this to be the correct answer. Let's just check the next one. The voltage imposed across the inductor causes the amount of current through. Oh, right, right. So this is the in reference to the the inductors. Um, kind of the sometimes I call it definition of inductance in the context of circuits. It's this relationship that delta V across the inductor is the inductance times the di dt. So what this choice is saying is that this delta V causes di dt. And I think, yes, that is a more direct way of saying the time-dependent portion. So yeah, that is the correct answer, um, as you would have guessed from knowing that he got 100% with my corrections. <laughs> um, so, so yeah, uh, let's look at, uh, um, yeah, so I assume the answer there is right. Uh, or the explanation is right. So, okay, so that's, uh, um, completing the multiple choice timed assessment with uh, generative AI. Uh, let me do this just to one more time. Um, I mean, you know, I don't actually have to do it again, but uh, I, I want to just uh, make sure that I'm still keeping up, you know, that I, I can do better than the machine. Uh, let's see. <laughs> um, so, uh, so, you know, this 100% is really 80% because I helped. Um, so let's see, as I do this uh, by myself, I think I'm gonna want Wolfram Alpha as my calculator in case I need to calculate any numbers. And uh, I'm gonna just try to go through this as quickly as possible. So I won't explain a lot of things. I'll just uh, work through it as quickly as I can. Uh, retake, and I have 10 minutes, but my goal is to, to go through it as quickly as I can. Electric field stores, yeah, density, magnetic field, correct expression, okay. Um, it's gonna be B squared, so it's either of these two. And I want to say it's probably this one. Just kind of looking at for um, some sort of, it's my guess, but I think it's this one. Yeah, yeah, and I'm pretty sure it's correct. Yeah, I'm t I try to remember the it's a mu not expressed in terms of you know four pi k over c squared. So I think that's correct. Because uh, the version I have memorized more easily is the p squared over two mu not. That's what I have memorized. <laughs> so um, okay. Oh, we got this question before. So as it's rotating, the current flows and the crank becomes more difficult to turn because of the magnetic force. Um, Concerning all laws, which most correctly compares electric and magnetic field. Electric field, uh, magnetic for, uh, forces actually are conservative. Uh, it's, you know, it depends on velocity, but it's still conservative. It's kind of counterintuitive. Uh, um, so always zero, no, not once you have Faraday's law. Um, so that's not quite correct. 
uh, electric fields, radio source, magnetic fields, point. You know, I think that's always right. Uh, away from uh, like a positive charges um, and around currents. Electric fields can be produced by an electric charge or by magnetic fields from electric charge. Um, oh, oh, yeah, that's correct. This is incorrect because the, those features are like electrostatics and magnetostatics. When you look at like a Faraday's law uh, electric field, it, this isn't true anymore. That is the correct one. Okay, let's keep going. I've seen this question already, and I know the answer is the um, the acceleration quickly decreases and it moves at constant terminal velocity because the eddy current or the current that's induced that kind of dissipates energy. Um, okay, Ohm's law. Oh. Hopefully you have it memorized. Uh, so it's gonna be this one. Resistance is V over I. Yeah. Yeah, it's just trying to, you know, it's a memory check. <laughs> okay, 40 watt on a house 110 volts has an effective resistance of that. Okay, amount of current flowing. Um, so I have volts and I have resistance. So let me do 110 volts divide by 303 uh, ohm. That will give me something in amperes. And the answer is... Um, 0.363 ampere. So 0.36 ampere. Good. Yeah, I think. Um, typical small electronic device powered by. Oh, I think we've seen that. Oh, I, so this time I'm doing um, 3.2 volts divided by 190 kilo ohm. And that'll be. Is it really my point zero one seven point zero one seven milliampere? I guess that's right. Yeah, don't confuse these two. Okay, uh, eight American wire gauge is each different six gauge doubles. Okay, gauge of wire has wire like that. Okay, uh, correctly describes and compares gauge thirteen with the gauge ninety. Okay, they are difference by six, and the higher gauge number means smaller. So it's a half the diameter. So um, half the diameter means a uh, quarter of the area, uh, which means uh, the resistance per length is uh, four times as large. Okay. So for the same length, uh, it's the other way around in terms of order and double is wrong. For the same length, uh, it's four times. It's the other way around uh, in order to get the same resistance needs to be four times the length. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because uh, this says greater resistance per length. So I think that's right. Um, okay, RLC circuit, charge Q0 on the capacitor. The, yeah, okay, oscillate dissipation of energy. It, it dissipates through R uh, at a constantly decreasing rate. I guess that's right, it, like exponential decrease. Um, Smaller resistance are, I think, uh, um, so the current is kept the same. So smaller resistance would mean uh, slower dissipation. Uh, all things being same. Um, hmm. Let me see this, because with greater resistance R, energy would dissipate faster. So I think this is meant to be the correct answer. Okay, uh, last one. Circuit containing, oh, I think we've seen this before, and the answer was inductor convert, no, voltage across inductor, yeah. All right, let me save this. Uh, I've used the six minutes, um, and <laughs> there were some memory ones that, uh, I'm pretty sure I got this right. Uh, and so there's really only one question that I'm not 100% sure on, which is this. Because um, I guess it's a matter of what you mean by rate. Because um, 
like exponential decay, like if you define your rate as proportion of existing quantity that's decreasing, exponential decay actually corresponds to um, the constant rate decrease, a constant rate as a proportion of what's remaining. So I think this is right. And in the series uh, LRC circuit, um, what's being maintained the same is the um, is the um, the current through the circuit. So I think yeah. So all right, uh, let's just submit it and let's hope I got hundred <laughs> percent. Uh, because uh, as I joke, if uh, I didn't, they'll be embarrassing. <laughs> Good, hundred percent. Yeah. Uh, all right. So that's the multiple choice timed assessment.